Hey everybody, here is a quick video on Jet Engine Macros, and we're going to break into it. I'm going to discuss some examples. This is going to be really quick and easy and simple. Uh, hopefully, we break down and uh, make it more clear how to use and actually utilize uh, the Jet Engine Macros. Here we go. So, last time, as you all recall, uh, we were working on this vehicles list, and you can see we have our list. And the last time, I had done something goofy. I had placed Audi as the uh, model and X5, which obviously, clearly, you know, these aren't all correct. This is just random data I threw together, um, was the uh, mop or make. And I inverted those. So now we're 100%, you know, hey, an Audi is a make and the X5 is the model. So now let's say, let's kind of go deeper here. Let's say we want to get into um, trying to only show vehicles of this make only. So what I did is started off, um, I actually created a CCT. Now, I've done this before where you can do relations. And let's just say relations is, is great. They're helpful. But what if we just want to build something that is going to be really huge and authoritative and you, you can't have, um, well, obviously we don't want to waste a bunch of time trying to create relations every time. And you can, it, it, it's totally doable. Um, not to me though. And what I did is I made a CCT called make. And for right now, we have one that is called uh, Audi. So let's go in, let's make a page. And again, this is all about macros. So I'm gonna show you how this macro works here. So we're gonna call this uh, make, uh, the make page. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Um, well, you're gonna have one page that make, that doesn't seem like that would make a lot of sense, Cameron. Uh, well watch okay cool let's let's watch let's learn um what i would what we need to do now is we need to pull in a listing of the all the makes so let's go back over here to jet engine let's go to listing and i already did it um but we're just going to kind of do this again here um we're gonna go add new and we're gonna do a uh, custom content type we're going to do make and we're going to call this uh, makes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. and here we go okay so we got to add our uh, our title um, again I'm not going to make this pretty so don't look to me right now for um, making things look really you know cool that's that's not what this is about uh, we're going to use custom content type field and we're going to pull in make now look here this is make this is vehicle remember we're working on make here so we're going to choose make there's our audi now this is where things can get a little bit hazy so let's try to unpack this um what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull in a secondary listing and a lot of people might say like whoa that's 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 going to be slow and you're going to uh, run into a lot of issues doing this. Yes, it is slow. Yes, you are 100% correct. Yes, you probably should make better decisions than this. Um, and I say that because, remember, we're, we're in a listing grid showing a listing grid. This might not be the best suit for you. You may want to say, hey, um, there's got to be a better way to do this. Maybe we just make individual pages. Maybe we make one page. Guess what? I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, we're going to say uh, vehicle list. Boom, there's our vehicle list. But there's Audi, Mazda, BMW, all of these. we got to filter these down. Let's get all of them. There's 20 of these. So now let's go down here and go to our custom content types query right here. Um, if you don't see it, ping, ping, see that. Um, now what we're going to do is I mean, you could say status any, but 
definitely want to say publish. Uh, we're not going to worry about order right now because we're not really, you know, we might do that later, but let's just for right now, let's just do it this way. Um, item ID equals, and what is all of this? Well, the query is the field. What are we querying against? Well, we're going to query against the make. And what's the operator? Well, there's two ways you can do this. Um, we can use equal, which is a, it, it is a precise, uh, meaning capitalization, spelling, all that stuff comes into play here. Like is a little bit more adjustable. So if somebody maybe did a capital A and somebody did a lowercase a, well, nay is an A. <laughs> so, so now let's see how this works. Let's, let's talk macros. Um, so again, coming back over here, uh, here's your macros for your CCT. This is really the only macro that you're going to be able to use. I mean, you can use these other ones, um, you know, for uh, users. Uh, let's see here. These are going to be more for uh, post types. So um, maybe that's another video we can kind of talk about here. Uh, you know, if your terms, obviously, for taxonomy, um, tags, if you're using tags, uh, current ID, that's really going to be the most powerful one you're going to use in my opinion um, title uh, might be one that you might use uh, i don't i've never really needed to use it but you know there's a possibility uh let's see here yeah i mean there's you know if you're trying to figure out what today is this is this is a good one to use you can use this one in your um you know figuring out uh like if you're just doing um, a date of, you know, hey, here's here's the copyright date and you don't want to keep updating it every year. That's, you know, not that one, but this one right here. Um, anyway, we're, we'll, we'll kind of glance over these. Uh, the data stores one is really good one to know. Um, there's a lot of good information in there that is going to be super helpful, especially if you're creating a... Um, user uh, indexing field uh, uh, where you have you know some sort of um, user based system so anyway we're gonna we're gonna jump in here i'm gonna explain this so current field uh this is more specific to uh what field it is that you're trying to get and this is the field key and the field key is based on the name so let's take a look here uh the field key here would be uh make and what we're going to do is, you know, you can just copy and paste and type change field key to make. And uh, I'm going to leave this any and there we go. So there's all our Audis. Uh, this is exactly what we were trying to get to. And um, we did it. Perfect. Um, there's more that you can do. So let's say, you know, hey, Cameron, I don't like the idea of doing a listing grid inside of a listing grid. Cool. I don't either. I think it's terrible. So I'm with you. Well, then how do we do this? Well, we're going to do this really cool thing. Um, it's called query stream. So let's just say um, we're, we have a page um, that is all the the makes let's just say make uh vehicle i'm going to be a little bit more direct here vehicle make there's some bad habits you see i do so you know judge me judge me judge me and we're going to pull our listing grid here i like how uh i love how bricks does this is is that you don't even need to put down a section you could just put down a listing grid it's pretty cool I, I would definitely check it out if you have yet anyway i'm getting off topic so there's our audi there's the list of those let's dump this okay cool now when i hit update the audis are going to be gone and 
it's not going to show right this second. So calm, calm down, calm down. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Clearly, I did not hit update. Good job, Kim. There we go. Boom, Audi. So, but what does that mean? What 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 happens here on the refresh? Um, what we want to do is we're going to turn this into a URL. Okay. So, I'll show you how to do that. Um, if I can find where my make there we are. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to link to that page. Um, so remember, we made a, a page that was called make. And of course, it's not going to find it. <laughs> um, so now that is going to work because that doesn't make sense. Um, what we want to do is use a dynamic tag here. And we're going to pull in a custom content type field. And we're going to call it make. Right here. Done. Now, all that's going to do is it's just going to say Audi. See how it says right down there? Audi. Um, I don't know if you can see it in there. Um, that's not what we want. What we want is for it to have a URL. So uh, essentially what we want to do is click here. Just click on this uh, custom content type field data in this input field. And it'll pull up this. And then we're going to go to advanced before. And we're going to say slash slash uh, dash pixel dot local slash. Now, I think it was make dash two because I had too many. Now we're going to add the query. It's question mark make equals. So now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but when you hover over it, it says make equals Audi. Boom. That's what we wanted. So we're going to come back over to here. We're going to refresh. So now when I click on this, nothing's going to happen sweet that's what we want not really but it is kind of what we want so now i'm going to show you how this works um, i'm going to make sure i start closing some of these because some of these are not necessary okay so now we're using uh query strings the query string is is that what we're doing is we're setting parameters via the actual url so now instead of showing the actual uh, grid in, in a grid, which doesn't make sense because again, we're, we're, we're going to, uh, tax our system here. Let's do it in a smart way. And let's just say, Hey, we're going to pull a dynamic field and so, um, again, what we want to do is we're going to pull a dynamic field here and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use a query variable and we're going to ping that query variable off of the variable name is make. Okay. And you can add in a little fallback. Um, we're not going to worry about that. Fallback means is that what if there is no variable in there? What if there's nothing? Um, maybe there's a way that we say, Hey, if there's no query, then let's just throw all the makes. <laughs> so anyway, so now, Let's also add in a listening grid because again, we've limited what our listing grid is going to show. We're going to use that same list, list little listing grid again. We're going to show all. We're going to come down here to custom content types and we're going to go to query settings. So like before, we're going to do an actual query using again, a macro and our field is going to be make and our macro let's go back to our macros list here so all the way at the bottom we have a query bar now i don't know if this is going to work i just thought about this so there's a possibility this might not work because hey if in my estimation is the query bar is based on what the uh um inside the URL here. So let's see if I'm right. This is a little bit of doing this off the cuff here. Not my favorite way to do this. Make. Think. It worked. Cool. Okay. 
when things work. It's good. I like it. Um, so yeah, that's it. So Audi, uh, there's all our Audis. Sounds like I said Audis. Anyway, uh, hopefully this has been helpful. It's a little bit more revelation into macros. Um, I mean, we could get into posts. Posts are really great, especially if you don't have a lot of posts. If you're, if you maybe have like 10 or 15 posts that you're doing, maybe you're a real estate agent. See, this is, you know, and you're only doing maybe 20 different houses and those are going to be your bases and you never have any more or less. And you're just constantly deleting and adding new. Um, maybe a post would be your best bet. Uh, if you're a, you know, a real estate organization, definitely not. Uh, CCT, there's other uh, places, <laughs> there's other plugins I would use for that. I really wouldn't go for the, um, we really wouldn't go for this. Uh, anyway, hopefully this is helpful and uh, please follow, su subscribe, and uh, leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and, you know, if you have anything that's uh, constructive cr criticism of my, uh, you know, ability to write tutorials, I'm all, I'm all ears. <laughs> Good luck. Have a good day. Hey, thanks for joining us. Check us out online, ask questions, share, subscribe. See you next time.